Hi everyone and welcome back. Okay, this time I'm going to be painting a goldfinch with watercolour and mixed media techniques as well. I'm going to be using a few coloured pencils at the end uh, just to enhance things a little bit. Now the paper that I'm working on today is in the Arteza Watercolour Travel Journal. Um, I've just been sent two travel journals by Arteza and 60 tubes of watercolour. Um, I've got a review of those coming up very shortly in the next few days so keep an eye out for that. Um, it's really nice paper to work on actually, there's two sides to it, there's a rough side and a smooth side. I'm working on the rough side for this one. The size of the paper is A4. Um, the travel journals do come in several different sizes, you get A4, A5 and A6. But RTs have very kindly sent me out two A4 size travel journals to review for them. Um, but this video isn't going to be about the review so much. Like I say, there'll be a review of all their products coming up in the very next video. Okay, but this one is all about painting this bird in mixed media techniques. And as always, this is just you know a quick 10 minute overview of the painting. The full lesson will be over on my Patreon channel. And I'll leave links to that on the end screen and in the description below. Now for those of you that watch my videos regularly, you're probably looking at that palette and thinking I've got myself a new palette. Well actually it's my old palette, 30 years old, I've just finished restoring it, um, got rid of all the old paints, all the old enamel, got rid of all the rust, put several coats of primer on there and a couple of coats of enamel and it's as good as new and uh, ready to go again. In fact I'll insert a few pictures for you on the right hand side there so you can see the process of it before and after. So you can see there that's what it looked like after nearly 30 years of hard use. The uh, paint's wearing away there on the mixing wells and it's all kind of flaking off there on that flat mixing well as well. A little bit of rust there as well. So that's what it looked like when it was all stripped. Luckily a lot of the zinc coating was still there. It wasn't too much rust. I managed to get that off and use a rust treatment over everything. And as you can see there, I gave it a couple of coats of primer everywhere to seal it all up. And then several coats of white enamel on the inside. And then finally, I gave it several coats of black enamel on the outside, and there's the finished box. I think it was worth doing. Um, you can't get these old heavyweight Winsor & Newton watercolour boxes anymore. There is a similar product out there, uh, but it's not the same thing. I had a look at them. and. Um, the mixing wells are different and that centre strip there where I store um, extra watercolour pans it's a lot wider on some of the newer ones there and they tend to rattle around whereas on this one they fit in there really snugly and um, they don't rattle around at all so it's a really great box and like I say I've had it for 30 years hopefully it's going to last me another 30 years hopefully I'll last another 30 years um, I doubt it but you know we can hope can't we but anyway, it's a great box, really good. They're actually becoming a collectible thing now. I've seen a few of them on eBay in the past and they're really sort of fetching high prices, you know. And back in the day when I bought this, it came with 12 original um, artist quality Winsor & Newton uh, hole pans in there. But as you can see, I've added extra ones and I've changed some of the colours over the years. But it's a box that's served me well over the years and I really didn't want to throw it away and get a new one. So. I think for the price of a few tins of spray paint, a little bit of elbow grease, you know, and uh, I've got myself a great palette again. Now a quick mention about the brushes that I'm using. I can't believe how good these are. I bought them several months ago and I bought them so inexpensively off of Amazon I thought they were going to be rubbish and I bought a set of five of them. You can get them in a set of five or a set of six and they're by a company called eBoot. And the sizes that I got in my sets were a size 2, a size 0, a size 3-0, a size 5-0 and a size 10-0 which is so fine it's just got, um, oh it's, it's like a pinhead on there, you know the, it looks like it's just got two or three hairs in there, really really fine and they're excellent for detail. The nylon brushes, synthetic brushes and um, for the price of this set of five that I bought it was actually cheaper than buying one detail brush. Um, from another manufacturer so I thought I'd give these a go and I'm really really pleased with them so I thought well I'm going to mention this to my viewers because if there's anybody out there that's looking for a really decent set of 
detail brushes have a look at these on Amazon by eBoot I'll leave some links in the description below so you can go and check them out and they're the brushes that I used entirely for this painting um, I only used two of them in fact I used a size 2 and a size uh, 0 I believe and um, that's all I needed just two brushes for this painting and I can't believe the quality of them I'm really impressed with these brushes okay so back to the painting then now the painting itself only took me a couple of hours it didn't take long at all um, it's only really a quick study of a goldfinch I didn't really bother you know doing too much work on the branch there that it's perched on and I didn't bother putting any background in either like I say it's just a study um, of the bird itself and it's not that difficult to do I don't think uh, beginners will struggle with this one I think they'll find it you know fairly easy to do this and like I say it's not like one of the 30 hour graphite drawings that I do you know this only took a couple of hours two brushes and a handful of colours and um, it's a job done you know it didn't take long at all now when I planned this painting out I originally decided to do it in mixed media using watercolour and coloured pencils um, but at the watercolouring stage I decided to more or less complete it as a finished watercolour so it looks okay you know in its own right just as a watercolour painting um, and then decided to add a few enhancements with the coloured pencils so if you do um, follow along on Patreon with this one and you think oh, I've not got any coloured pencils you can follow along and just do this one purely in watercolour if you want to but if you have got some coloured pencils it would be nice just to use them at the end there just to make a few enhancements and I always find that adding coloured pencils on top of watercolour really enhances the colour, really brings those colours and the tones out um, it can be a really nice combination to use coloured pencils over the top of watercolour and on the other hand you know if you're more used to using pencils than you are watercolour maybe you've just started out with watercolour again I think you'll find this one very easy because if you're used to using pencils you shouldn't have too much difficulty using these fine detail brushes because I'm using them in a very similar way um, that I'd use a pencil I'm literally shading with them just shading the paint on there in certain places and some of the washes that go on there they're very small and they're very easy to control um, so again beginners shouldn't have too much difficulty um, you know doing this um, this picture I will be doing more bird studies in watercolour and mixed media techniques as well in the future. Um, I'll be running them alongside my graphite landscape drawings. Um, so hopefully, you know, I'll be making a few more videos um, doing this sort of thing in the future. So if you like these type of videos, it'd be great if you could subscribe to the channel and. Um, click that notification bell so you get notified of every time I post a video that way you won't miss anything and uh, if you want to take it another step further you can always join my patreon channel and um, there's loads of lessons over there loads of graphite drawings landscapes um, other watercolor studies um, there's a whole um, library of videos out there full of tips and techniques for you um, to help you improve your artwork and um, for just four dollars a month it's an absolute bargain you know I mean what's four dollars really a month it's you know a dollar a week it's it's nothing is it really um, you know for all the information that I provide for you over there all the lengthy projects and the tutorials um, for you over there and also we've got a fantastic community of people as well very helpful very supportive and um, you can post your work or your artwork on the community section there and joining with the community people over there are making friends all the time chatting away uh, it's a fantastic place to be so it'd be great to see you over there okay so now I'm changing over to the coloured pencils and I'm using the Faber-Castell polychromos for these for the coloured parts um, I did start using the white pencil from the polychromo set but my experience with that isn't very good it's not a very good pencil it's not very opaque so I decided to um, try the white pencil from the, as you can see there, look, the Derwent drawing pencils at the side there. Um, they're really nice quality pencils and I use the white pencil from that and also I use the Caran Dash Luminance White as well, um, just for a few highlights here and there. But mainly use the Polychromos um, for all the coloured work and the detail. And as you can see, it doesn't bring a massive change to the painting, just a few enhancements there 
you know that's all it needed just a little bit of extra detail a little bit of shading and it just seems to make all the difference just lifts the painting a little bit more okay so we're just about at the end now of the painting or drawing whatever you want to call it and uh, there we go there's there's the finished picture so I hope you like that and don't forget to check out my Patreon channel I'll leave links in the end screen card um, on the screen now and there'll be links in the description as well and also check out in the description um, for those detail brushes as well I think you'll be really impressed with those okay so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one take care everybody bye for now